It's very common when we are developing one application, we have to present message to user to give user feedback after some action is performed. And for this purpose, we are going to see in this video how to use the alert message using this component here, the alert control controller, and how to use the toast controller messages. Alert controller um, are normally messages that are some kind of blocking, they are present and user has to confirm that so the, the message window be closed and the toast controller is a kind of message that is displayed and disappear automatically. User has not to confirm that he has read that. So according with the context, we are inside the system, one kind of message could be more, more suitable than the other. So we are going to see how to use these two kinds of messages. They are not complicated. Basically, we have to import these components that are native from, from Ionic programming. And then we have to create attributes from its types. And according to the type, we can then call the message to be presented. Both methods here are implemented. One code that presents the message as a toast message and another that presents the same message as a alert message. So uh, both uh, has this present method that are called after the object is built. They normally have, the toast do not have a, a title. They has just the content that's going to be presented to the user and its content will be vanished, will be hidden after this time and it will be presented after calling this method. And the alert is a more complex window because it can has buttons and it has a, a header and a subheader which are for, for window title. And then we have the message itself that is what could be presented in, in Toast. Both methods are asynchronous. It means they do not block the, the main thread of the application. So they are not blocking methods. So when we call a message to be presented, we cannot wait it to be finished to then perform another thing. This message is just executed in a separated thread. Okay, so let's see how to use that. Basically, we have here two methods, one to present a toast message and another one to present one alert message. And both codes are we are going to execute now. What we have here, we have in these components, one list of elements that is going to be presented in this MG4. And when each of these elements are clicked, in this first moment, we are going to present the message calling the present alert function. The present alert function is programmed here, and we pass a parameter to this function. That is one object of the type, type. and this type um, has attributes as names and description. It's because this, this object were instantiated here, where we have the name and the description fields. Okay, so when this present alert message is called with this parameter, it's going to build the messages that are going to be displayed. And when this present method is called, the, the alert box is going to be presented. Let's see it's in execution now. Okay, we are here in the code. And here we have the boxes. When we click here, what you have? The dialog box alert presented. Here the, ti the title, the header, the subheader, and then the content, the description. It's for the account time type enterprise. If you click on account type premium, we have this message for the premium, premium with premium information. Look, if you click out of the message, it also closed the message box. But if we do not click, this message is going to be presented and will stay there forever until user confirm it has written the message. Could be clicking out or clicking in OK. Right. And if you want to use the toast controller, basically we have just to change the, the way we are going to present the message. Instead of using this present alert function, we call the present toast function. So it's just uh, switch the method that's going to be called in the click event instead of present alert then the present toast save that it's going to rebuild the code it's already compiled and now if you click here look we have a toast message that that disappears automatically after two seconds okay 
So we have just a description. We do not have a header. So it's for this kind of message you want to give to user kind of feedback, but disappear automatically without blocking and interfere in the usage of your app. So it's that for this video, an overview about how to use the, the, the toast messages, how to use the alert messages, what are the differences between things, then, and shows that it's not complicated to use everything with native components and with just a few lines of code. Thank you for watching.